YouTube, what is going on guys? Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. So today's tutorial looks like it's gonna be a banger. The thumbnail was dope, it had a before and after, but the title really, really got me. The difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is left a question mark and honestly i thought he was gonna do something like a comparing before and afters and like the difference and like like good haircuts and bad haircuts that would have been an interesting video if you could do it the right way but it's not it's a tutorial and i still think it's gonna be a good one anybody who names their title that number one you got some confidence behind you number two you might have some nuggets to share so he doesn't have a lot of subscribers which is always pretty cool to help people get some more reach with my platform hair life yanni he's got 254 subscribers this is the video we about to watch let's check it out we're gonna be doing a bald taper if you guys stay tuned to the end hopefully you'll learn something and you'll get to see some of that pressure let's not waste no time let's jump right into it all right guys first step is we're gonna come in with our number one guard. oh yeah all the way closed and we're gonna knock down this hair to our desired length he probably knows what he's doing he's got the 245 battery in his clipper right now 245 eagle battery you can get at 245.com going with the grain all the way around leaving some of the hair on the crown to come behind that with the one open yeah, and yes smart. guys here i am using the wall cordless seniors and i am using the filthy blends mod that allows me to put an this blade filthy. on a wall clipper and i am using the andis precision blade or a fade blade also with the andis double magnetic guards that's a crazy right, modified guys, now clipper that the hair is down to the desired length and you've knocked everything down making sure to take care of that crown come with a half size. He got size. like two calyx. Crown and calyx is different, right? Crown is this area. Calyx is that hair growth pattern. It's actually a, a swirl. Calyx are a little bit different, but we use calyx anyways. To kick off this back taper, first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my trimmers. I am using the Babyliss Patty Cuts Edition. Great trimmers. Guideline. As you see, I set it in in a rainbow-like shape. Are those the and his fade blade? Off. I gotta take a closer look when he turns that clip around. It looks like the fade blade. If that's the fade blade, I, yo, believe it or not, I've never seen one barber do a whole haircut with that and his fade blade. Have you guys? That's a scary blade. A lot of people have gotten cut with that blade. But me personally, I've never seen it. I don't know if he's using that and his fade blade, but if he is, hey, it's a first for me. Do is I'm gonna come in with my clipper all the way open. And I'm setting in my first guy line. It that guy like line is set in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to come back behind that with our clipper all the way closed and clipper we're gonna tag closed. that bottom line as you see here. So once the line is taken out, we're gonna open our clipper halfway, move up on the guy line, open the clipper a little bit more until we meet the top of this guy line. Next, I'm coming in with my zero guard. All Zero the way open, and our client does have a scar on the back of his head, and you will encounter clients that oh, have yeah. either scars or indentations, whether it be on the side, back, anywhere around their heads. So just treat that area as such. Stretch the skin. Use a lower guard. I wonder if a lower taper would have worked to kind of hide that scar a little bit. Even though, I mean, I wouldn't care personally if it was me. But. And here, guys, you see me using the number one guard closed with the grain to knock down any hair that might have not got cut the first time around. All right, so he did a one with the grain all the way around. So he did number one guard closed. His hair looked kind of dark for a one guard closed. Kind of looked like a one open, but uh, especially with an and this guard. But a one guard closed is going to be like a number two against the grain. It's never going to look as dark going against the grain because when you when you go with the grain it leaves a little bit of fullness but it's kind of like the equivalent of number two or two slightly open against the grain the good I thing with and is first time around and now i'm coming in with my number one all the open. way open the good thing with and is you can skip that one and a half guard if you have the right system not really you can with with wall two but a lot easier with andis we set an inner guy line blending into the top which is the desired length that's a copyright beat Use dope beat corner. but that got copyright infringement written all over it youtube about to get on me i hope not much as possible yeah see how i just blend it right in up. go back to the zero guard or close it because there's a little bit of a line i am right flicking out open should blend it to the top here guys i am using the andis half guard 
which is like a little zero bit guard. different than the zero guard. What in the world? The half guard and the zero guard are different. Hold on, gotta do a fact check. All right, so shout out to Iconic Barber Supply for listing the sizes. The number zero is one sixteenth, one and a half millimeters. All right, so that's the same as a half guard with wall. That's the same as a half guard with wall. All right, and this is ProStylingTools.com. There's the half guard. 2.25 millimeters you see why you watch everyone you never know who you could learn from you never know who you could learn from I didn't even know this existed but it just seems like an extra extra step that's not necessary why is does this guard exist i need answers why does this guard exist am i crazy i'm gonna have to ask one of my friends on team andis angel ross could you let me know bro if you guys in the comment section know the answer to this i've always just used the zero the one and the two, and they just worked. Just seems like an unnecessary guard, but some people like it. So I guess there was a market for it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's continue. Let's come with a zero guard, and also if you buy the half guard and the one and a half guard, I would say that this half guard that comes with the one and a half guard, it's a little bit bigger than the zero guard. It's almost like a one, it cuts a little bit shorter. It's like in between a one and that zero guard. So I like to use that to blend in between the half guard and that number one. And here I'll guys, as you've seen, I it's am looking blurry though. The corners, the heel clean. of my He's area. Now. He, yeah, it's looking real so like clean. Like I said, just start taking Very out nice, any bro. imperfections, any dark spots. Bro, he is really detailing the hell out of the back. See, I don't like to over detail me personally. I like to move on, get to the side tapers, line him up, and then detail. I feel like that helps create some efficiencies. Grab our trimmers. We're going to set in our bald guy line. Then we're going to debulk everything underneath of that guy line. Then we're gonna grab our clippers. We're gonna come in, same steps, no guard, all the way open. Once that guy line is blended out, we're gonna grab our zero guard, all the way open, and we're gonna set in our next guy line. Come in with my zero guard all the way closed, and I'm going to flick that guy line out as you see me doing here. I got two screens, and sometimes I don't know which screen to watch. And here I'm coming in with my number one guard all the way open and I'm flicking that hair. And you really gonna use the half guard now? Blend. Did he use the half guard already? I just feel like the zero to the one, Gucci just said. I don't know about this beat. It's coming out clean though, man. I can't wait to see the lineup. I never change my system no matter what haircut I'm doing. I do adjust depending on the hair type and also the client. But pretty much, I follow the same. I've been telling y'all that for years, man. With fading, same system on everybody, on every texture. Sometimes you guys overthink it, you know? Like, there's different ways to cut down longer, the longer hair. That shorter, that fading length, like, you cut that the same. Blade open, one open, whatever your system is. Obviously, there's different ways to lay the hair down. There's different ways to cut the top, depending on hair texture. But when it comes to clipper work, fading, same thing steps and I stay true to my system stay true to your system focus lock in get it done you already know where you at subscribe link is in the description if you want to subscribe to your boy hair life Yanni subscribe all right guys what you see me doing here is I'm coming in with my half guard and I am knocking that hair he's tapering the hairline down to give him a nicer lineup you know this look the title of his video is the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is just attention to detail it's just attention to detail man that's that's the answer hairline down a He's little bit shorter in the desired length and the reason that i'm doing that is to set myself up for a good lineup now You'll always there are barbers that could give all the attention to detail they want and they can't put out a good haircut there is that so i, I I would say a good haircut for that person <laughs> is attention to detail, right? But it's also reps, man. Putting in reps so that you can get to a point where you can get m more detailing done in the same amount of time that somebody who doesn't put in the reps, doesn't study, doesn't care as much. You know, you can get way higher quality haircut in the same amount of time. Knock down the front hairline or anywhere that you're going to shape up in order to allow yourself to get a crispy no, line. The foam and here on. I'm applying styling foam in order to lay this hair down. That way I can lay it down, make sure that all the hair is down the way that I need it. This is my secret weapon right here. I'm sharing you guys my secret weapon for the waivers. Hit like on the comment for this 
secret weapon guys use that style and foam that style and foam will get you far hit it with the blow dryer put a little bit of heat brush those waves into place and boy you're gonna see those roach legs we're gonna grab our spritz we're gonna spray it all around the areas i don't know if it's his energy but the beat grew on me when he was snapping just now. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. Lock that spritz into place. Neckline, this is my favorite line to do. It's so satisfying to put this line in. Take your time. Keep it as natural as possible. Another barber Man. told me, you know what's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? I said, uh -oh. what? He said, two weeks. Think about that. Ooh. Think about that keep everything that's what we was waiting for but bro that's that's such a nugget man sometimes i get comments in, in my videos where i'd be like bro it's so important what the haircut looks like a week from now a few days from now after they take a shower after they leave your chair and they take a shower the haircut gotta look good he said he already said it, he already said it well well enough he said two weeks think about that think about that but that's what we was waiting keep for for this video as natural as possible you don't want that regrowth coming back in when well, look, it's it's not just regrowth, right? It's how you cut the hair. It's the hair. It's paying attention to hair growth pattern. It's paying attention to to imperfections in your client's hair and cutting it in a way that's gonna look good as it grows back. It's not just about a line a couple of weeks from now. Scissor work. That's one of the biggest things. Shape of a haircut. You know, with, especially with straight hair or wavier hair, hair that's not so tight, curly like this. I mean, usually with this hair texture, it's all about hair. It's about hair growth pattern as well, but like more so like behind the ears, in the nape area, here in the hairline area, and in the crown area. But with with straight hair or wavy hair, it really is about shape around the parietal ridge, around the occipital bone, how it suits that person's head shape. So much deeper. I mean, I break that down on foundations, and we break it down in the academy all the time. So but let's continue. Hair grows because your client will notice it. Keep it as natural as possible. All right, guys, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Keep it as natural as possible. We're gonna hit this line all the way up to the ear. Once we get good, to man. the ear, we're gonna curve it around the ear, keeping it as natural as possible. I'm telling you, you don't want that regrowth. Your clients will see it. Subscribe below, show your boy some love, man. He's enhancing the cut. As you see, Topic hair fibers on top, top of the no drip, and this hold is wait, hold on, hold on, what he does. 45 no video. Who All right, guys, it? here I'm using a little bit of 245 no drip, enhancing this hairline a little bit. As you see, he does have a couple light spots. We're just bringing this to the next level. That's here cool. I'm using a little bit of topic hair fibers on top of the no drip. And this is just going to conceal. We're not hiding any mistakes. That feels good, bro. Is all Rocking with the brand, man. Rocking with the brand is what it's all about, baby. Let's build an industry. And this haircut to the next level. Here, guys, I'm using my 245 Triple Quarter Razor. Best razor in the game. Shout out to 245 for all their products. Wow. Stretching the skin. Bro, I swear I did not. I promise you I did not know. I don't know. I did not know he was going to. Hey, I'm glad I reacted to your video, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Degree Let's angle. go. Cut into the line. Take your time. And as you can see, guys, man, this haircut is coming together, man. All I did was took a hair. I'm giving this my absolute all. I don't know why I did that. I just felt like that was a great way to celebrate. You know, throwing shots up in the air. Throwing shots up in the air. Poor guys, looking we're gonna get stupid. the roach leg. Just huge Very clean difference haircut, on the. Hey guys, by the way, we do have compressors. We do have compressors in stock. We'll sell out. We have another shipment coming in soon, but these will sell out. If you're an Academy member, reach out in the chat. We have some saved for Academy members, so you can kind of lock yours in. Here's the cut. Tell me what you guys think. Clean. Tell me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Better. Put him in there, bro. Hey, hey, shout out to Yanni. Yanni, you gotta show your face, man. People want to get to know the the guy behind the the camera, man. So hair life of Yanni, I'm subscribed. There's no comments, man. But y'all go blow up this video, man. I go show this guy love. Blow up this video. Link is in the description right now. Link is in the description right now. Go blow up Yanni's YouTube channel. I love y'all. Thank you guys so much for always supporting and rocking with me, the whole YouTube community. And I'll see you guys on the next video, probably tomorrow.